using exponential decay functions. There are a lot of uses for exponential decay functions, but in this case, we're going to use the function to look at valuing what we call depreciating assets. And depreciating assets abound. Uh, the most common ones that we are familiar with today are computers and computer equipment, uh, uh, photography equipment. Uh, other technology televisions but, but probably the one that we concern ourselves with most might be for automobiles the basic exponential function looks like this and there are different forms for it we can have an amount with respect to t that is equal to the starting amount, which we'll call a sub zero times the base to the power of t. And the base is equal to 1 plus r. Well, in the case of an appreciating function, r would be positive. But what if, in the case of an automobile, we are depreciating? For that, R, a typical rate of depreciation for an automobile is going to be 15% rate of depreciation, or we can put this in negative 15%. So the base in this case is going to be 1 plus negative, and this 15%, negative 15% is equal to negative 0.15 so, so our base is going to be 0.85 and the key for depreciation or for an exponential k function is for the base to be greater than 0 but less than 1 this will be a decay exponential decay. So our function that we're going to have, we're going to have a car that starts in value at $14,000. So we'll say A sub zero equals $14,000. And R is going to be equal to negative We'd say negative 15% in percentages, but I'm going to call this 0 0.15. And for that, we get our base is going to be equal to 0 0.85. So A, so A of T is equal to 14,000 times point, I'm going to put this in parentheses, 0 0.85 to the power of t. And we can use this equation in different ways. We can find how much the value will be after a certain time, or we can take the time, figure out the time it takes to get to a certain value. So what I'm going to do first is I'll ask the question, what is value of car after three years and that's a very common strategy in buying a car in that you'll get a, a good a car that's not that's fairly new if not brand new but will have a lot of the value taken out of it such that its price will be a lot more uh, affordable so let's go to the calculator and we put in 14,000 times 0.85 to the power of x. And we're interested in three years. I, I set up the graph so we can see 1, 2, 3, 
what is going to be the value of the car. Well, this is 14000 is where it starts. So after three years, the car is worth one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And so between eight and nine thousand dollars, and you can trace or go to the, you can go to the I'm going to go to the table view. If we go to three years, our car is going to be worth eighty five hundred and ninety eight dollars. So that's our answer. Now we can ask another question. How long will it take uh, for a car to be worth uh, we'll say $5,500. I'm just making a number up. And we could we could put that fifty five hundred dollars to the left side of this equation and solve this equation logarithmically, but we have we can go to our function editor and put in fifty five hundred and graph and we see the intersection point. And roughly we can see after one, two, three, four, five, so in about six years. And to find the exact value, we press second, trace, five, enter, enter, enter. So five, five point seven, five and three quarter years. So in about five and three quarter years. So those are some real world, that's a real world use, very common. And 15% is a pretty respectable depreciation rate for automobiles. Good luck and thanks for viewing.